All right, so cleaned up. Yeah, we are on to Clone versus Sprang on Desert Cliffs, round four of the Swiss part of this tournament, the August 2016 one-to-one tournament. Did I say 2015 before? I meant to say 2016, but it should be in the title, so it should be fine. Anyway, Clone versus Sprang on Desert Cliffs, which I don't know why it's on Desert Cliffs, but apparently that was the map that was picked for round four, which is like, ah. Finally get to casting Clone, and it's on a map that does not play to Clone's strengths. Yeah, and Clone lost, lost to Nemor. Yeah, which we haven't actually seen Nemor play. I mean, it was not Nemor play the first match against Stuart. And Nemor seemed to play okay, and Nemor seemed to need time to build up. So maybe Nemor and Clone kind of play in the same general strength region, where it's like they, they play well when the game is... Going your way. Like, well, rather, when the game is large enough that they can spend enough time to develop. Although Clone is not a bad micro player. So this could still be good. It's just that it's not showing off Clone as cloniest. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the Clone and Nemo is the biggest upset. Big Max right. is two and a half each. Yeah, that is one thing about this map. But yeah, Clone with Shieldbot and Sprung. Whoa, Sprung with the center. They're cheesing the center from the looks oh, of it. Oh boy, he's doing the Sprang thing. So this is going to be interesting because now Clone. I mean, they have their thing, they have their convict. They're going up for the more economic game. And Sprung is going for Shieldbot, cheese, possibly. What are they cheesing? He's going to make Racketeers or Bandits? Well, we'll see. Bandits. No, no, I need Bandit machine thug. gun and. Mm. Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, this is best of one. Sprung's taking full advantage <laughs> yeah, of that aspect. Yeah, but he will scout this out quite late on in the game. I, I'm afraid. No, he sees the bandit coming down the hill. Yeah, but I don't know if Clone realizes that the bandit is that close. Like, I mean, I think yeah, he will scout the first, the three most obvious start locations. I don't know, Clone's pulled back. They actually have no idea yet. Not Sprung not at this yet. point has gone away with it. Like so far, but not much has developed. Not enough has developed that I could say that it's really likely to make a difference yet. Clone not checking the center though. Is there radar coverage? No, not. no radar Why coverage. Why would you? That one uh, bandit of uh, Sprang is really... keeps three bandits occupied. <laughs> okay, now yeah, That's enough, but that I think might be enough. I'm not sure. Uh... <sighs> One bandit at the back of his factory, and which is the first thing that will happen as soon as he figured out the start location, and he loses that base. Right. You need well, the center see in the back. The center's still not been exposed yet. Clone does not know at this point that Sprang has not taken that backside. They're taking the center center, not the north center, but the actual. Is he center. going to level three? That's the next question. Clone has a Bob the Shop, which is the Eagle Commander. Yeah, and just beam jumpy. laser. Mm. But with the shield of the Thug, he can beat that Commander so easily. That's like... It's a really nice... Um, combo. Yeah. Regenerative is... shields that early in the game. Oh, awesome. Ah, he makes an Outlaw that's... Just on time against those bandits. Wow, that really is. Thug Outlaw pair there. And now Sprang. Oh man, Sprang running in here. This is going to be painful. Sprang nice roach though. Oh! Needed no, two. But... Oh, right, but that's Sprang's armor commander. Right, two roaches don't kill it. We already established that. Unfortunately, Sprang's stuck here. These units not yeah, moving to it... save the Shieldbot factory. It's bugged. Uh... <laughs> Sprang, what are you doing? And the exact thing I said that would happen happens. Yeah, shield bots behind the or bands behind the shield factory. Good call. It's just that the outlaws got stuck. Are they gonna? S okay, they just saved the factory. My goodness, that was close. Now he lost the 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 thug in the center, but he can now mop up the left side with his commander. So we end yeah. up with uh, an eco commander, uh, a base with two solars and one constructor at the right corner. Against center with one sol two solars, two maxes. Oh, hmm. hard to call from here. But the, the position of the commander is 
Awesome. Yeah, Sprung's commander you should be fine. have such a strong unit fine. close to your base is so annoying at this point in the game. The longer he can keep the... Um, uh, the game small, with a uh, small economy and a uh, few units, the stronger that commander stays. The stronger that commander is. Yeah, the only downside is this thug here. Thug bandit. Sprung getting out of there, which opens things up for clone. Clone right now with 20 metal per second. And another thug out... Okay, thug outlaw coming to the eastern side of the, of the base. Sprung's commander oh! under heavy attack. Needs to get out of there. He Able does. to repair somewhat, but... Sheesh, that is risky. Managed to escape though. I've seen so many bumping bugs. Those units don't move when they are supposed to shoot. That's weird. Yeah, that's the second time this game. Uh, you don't want to go there uh, with a commander, a clone. Oh man. Uh, Ring no, around the roses thug, with third a... thug. Yeah, no, they're not ringing on the roses. They're trapping the commander. Yeah, he can't move away now. He can. I mean, the thug's not super high rate of fire, but still, that commander is trapped. <laughs> that commander is dead. And clone... Oof. Come on, shoot the commander, dude. What is... What is Spine doing? They're getting really paranoid here. Like, the commander's gonna go down in, like, two shots. Just fire a volley, it'll die. And there we go, just getting point blank. Why are you getting point blank? Apparently the thugs want to die, too. Two of the thugs go down, that was <laughs> I totally dare unnecessary. You to blow up the <laughs> now the ro roach is gonna blow itself up. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so Sprang killed the commander, but really that was unnecessary to get that close. That was suicide. If they hadn't gotten that close, the shields would have taken the damage. I yeah. mean Sprang still won. Sprang wins it. Oh that, that was a well thought through attack with a, a thug and a commander. It's like free personal shield. No, it's not free, but Yeah, I mean it was it was a good strategy. That's the thing. It was like Really good call, and that's what I mean though. It's like this is a waste of a clone game because it's clone. And apparently <laughs> Nemo took out Orphelius. But it's like, ah oh, man, <laughs> this is a larger map. We would have seen clone really pull off what they wanted to do, but Sprung with this cheese, good cheese, but yeah, I just don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> oh, poor clone. I feel bad for clone because it's like clone is a really strong player, so we haven't seen any of that. Like we've yeah. seen basically none of Clone's strengths. And I think at this point... No, Clone has taken a game. They took... They took a game against... Siguero, actually. Which is but surprising. But it also takes Siguero some really balls to, uh, to use this strategy to do such a blatant cheese. Yeah, I mean, I guess Sprong <laughs> figured they didn't have much to lose. I mean, they're one and two. They need to... If they win this round and the next one, they might get to top four. Maybe. But they haven't got much to lose. So I was like, whatever. Let's just go. See what happens. All right, who's still going on? It looks like Student Icon's still going on together and felt us. Yeah, there's a few matches still going on. I don't know how long this is going to take, though. All right, Norphilius is throwing in the towel. So someone gets a buy. I guess Clone probably gets a buy, actually. Oh no, Stuart would get a buy. Unless Stuart wins against Tykins, but somehow I doubt that. Sorry, Stuart. I don't mean to talk shit, but... Tykins is really strong. All right, so waiting on this last match to finish up, last couple of matches to finish up. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> Just thinking, this is a small map, and I don't know, might might work. All right, so Wow, actually, Sprang at third place. Oh, wait, we haven't finished the other matches, though. But still, Sprang uh, at fifth place so far. I don't know if they're going to have a chance in 3-2. That's a pretty quick one. Maybe we can catch up on uh, Failed Us and Sigaro or Capricious. Yeah, I think... 
Well, it's there. It's just, everybody's playing that small map. So, so if I understand this correctly, after the five initial rounds, we start a. There'll be a break, but then we start a double elimination tournament with the top four. Okay. Yeah. So, and is there some seeding, or is it random, or is it, it based is on the, the top four spots? I think it is seeded based on top four spots. It should be seeded anyway. Well, wait. Ne okay, these. These results are obviously a little bit wonky because I'll have to wait until the round's actually over. Because right now, Nemo's yeah. in top spot. Hey, congrats to Nemo. But oh. actually, yeah, Nemo's in top. Wow. Yeah, that's actually round four. Capricious can can get up to four zero. Oh? Yes, Capricious could win this. Let's just actually check that out. I'm watching his game now, and he is being beaten by Xatria, oh. who is pounding his base with a uh, Firewalker, <laughs> two Firewalkers, and a Jack. Against tanks? Oh, he went vehicles. Jeez. Hang on. I'm coming. I'm coming to watch this. And he rebuilds his vehicle plan. Ah, uh, no, vehicles. They work for a strong initial attack, but then they just die on this map. Why would you reveal this on this map? Oh, the game. Ah, the game ended. I missed it. Yeah, it's <laughs> a second too late. I missed it. All right, we're all anyway, done. Anyway, uh, Xatria won. So Nemo is indeed uh, in charge for a place with for uh, first. Wow. I mean, huh? Yeah. So we can watch this now, I guess. But how was Stewart doing? Yeah, it looks like Capricious just had this. Took out the vehicle factory here, and then just dropped in Kshatriya. Oh man. Wow, Capricious was taking... Oh, they were pounding the entire game. Looks like they had a little bit of a chance. Some damage dealt around the map, but overall... Yeah, a handful of Raptors, and that was about it. The Firewalk was right from the start, too. That is painful. Alright, and we're just waiting for Failed House and Zagero. And that is going to then be round five. Looks like failed us is uh, winning this one. Just a solid push through the center with turrets and shield bots. Ah, oh, he got pushed back. No, but now he wins. Okay, failed us wins. Okay, so we're so failed us is also free to one. So everybody's free one. Wow. The All right. That's solid top four at least. Which kind of sucks, actually, because that, at that solid top four, then you're going to have this weird situation of after this. It's like there could be a dispute of who's top four. Because <laughs> right now, there's a solid top four. Like, it's clear. All right. It's a good top four, too, actually. I mean, Nemor is a surprise person, but the other three... I mean, I bet surprised Clone didn't make it that high, but I'm not surprised Kshatri, Capricious, and Velothos are in top four right now. Like, those... Those four... Well, the Nemo I don't know about, but the other three definitely are top four material. I'm just surprised Clone didn't make it that far. And Orphelius as well. <laughs> Alright. So, is that... And Stuart is at 04. I'm sorry, Stuart. Yeah, Orphelius. Oh, wow. Failthos gets the buy? Failthos against Orphelius? Oh, right, because Failthos has already played against all the other top four. Yeah, they played against Kshatra. They played against. They haven't played against Nemore, have they? No. Shadow is weird. Nemore's up in top four, and Failthos. Okay, Failthos against gets a buy. What the uh, heck? What, why? I don't know. Uh, Stewart should get the buy. Stewart should get the buy, and Felthos should be playing against Nemor. Uh, and Shatter. Where, 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 where do you see a buy? In, in I don't see it. Oh, Orphelius is out. Orphelius conceded. Oh. Yeah. I guess Ooh. because Capricious and Nemor are against each other, and Shatter and Capricious played each other. I guess that's just how it has to go. All right. So, given the options. I want to see Capricious and Nemo. 
because that looks like. But can you give the number two player a buy in the fifth round? Challenge is weird. It shouldn't be doing that. It should be giving the bottom player a buy. That's how buys work. I don't know yeah, what's going on. It's completely unfair to give the number one or two player a buy in the last round. That makes no sense. Yeah, I think they should probably switch it around so that. Uh, who else would Felthos play? Like, that's the problem. I think it's because. Felthos has played everyone but Nemor. Capricious has played everyone in the top four but Nemor. And it's like, it has to pick one of them. But it's like, why not have Felthos fight against Sprong? I don't think Felthos fought Sprong yet. How does no. the. Felthos hasn't fought Sprong. It's challenge you... process uh, dropouts. It. Either Doesn't. considers them a free win. <laughs> it, you can do that, actually. It usually considers it a free win. I mean, Feldas versus Orphilius would have been a perfectly fine match. It's just that that didn't work out. Where's Capricious and Nemor? So let's start from the bottom. If I give Stuart a buy, then uh, we would have Klon versus Feldas. Have we already had that game? No. So then the lowest player gets a buy and we switch opponents? Yeah, I think that would make more sense. Probably type that in. I need to double check where Capricious and Nemor are though. Okay, so... Yeah, this is a bizarre situation. And I think Parzival may have the same thinking, or maybe may thinking the same thing. Alright, let's... My, my suggestion, is, suggestion is to give Stuart the buy, and let Klon face fail us. Yeah. Uh, I agree. I mean, it's not the... I mean, I think... Yeah, it's probably the best you can do. Just given who's fought who already. And Parcel's yeah. doing exactly that. Okay, good. I'm not sure how you can organize that in the challenge tool. Uh, you can give free wins. I mean, the only thing is that it's a bit tricky to reorganize some things. So, yeah... It means... It means it's a little bit confusing, but it should work out more or less. <sighs> now, if you do it here, then you have to put Stuart Clan to 1-0, and then a challenge thinks Clan has lost. We're just... Can you both give them a point? I think <laughs> so, but... Who set up... Uh, who's the administrator? Parzival. Is he listening in? I don't think he's listening in, but he seems to have the same idea. Like, if they are listening uh, are in... This... Well, that works, but... Um, is he in Torney? I'm not... I think what's going to happen is that whoever wins it will just get a win, and then the other person will get a loss. What is the the channel name of the tournament? I don't know. Which channel name? ZK Tourney. Oh, that's Zurich Tournament or Tourney Tour? ZK Tourney. It's... Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Orphelius, if you want to... Oh yeah, if Orphelius plays, that works too. If Orphelius plays, that fixes the problem completely. Yeah, it's only one game, and he's already... He should face... Failed us. Well, should be a good game anyway. Yeah, I am going to cast Capricious and Nemore though, because I want to see how Nemore is playing, and I did want to cast the top... Whoever was in... I wanted to cast top two, but apparently Kshatra and Feltas, they already played, so... Yeah. 
I actually played first round. Alright, oh, River, you guys throw that out and just... <sighs> yeah, now Orfili says he wants to play, then he says, oh, I have to play Fel, this, and no, then I don't want to play. Come on. <sighs> you sign up for the tournament, at least play the first five rounds. Well, I don't mind forfeiture. It's just that challenge is not great at dealing with. And it's okay yeah. dealing with mid for. Actually, it's, no, it's okay with dealing with forfeiture. It's more the problem is that Orphelius would have needed to be counted as forfeit before round five started. Like, Parswell would have oh. gone in and said Orphelius is not in this, and then round five would have started with four players. Actually, maybe you could do that. Maybe that could still happen now. And then round five would have started with sorry four four rounds. And a buy, like four matches and a buy. Hmm. All right, so Orphelius is not playing. Clone versus Fail with us. Oh boy. I don't know why Percival is not just dropping out Orphilius. Okay, apparently the next map is Red Comet. I don't know. Okay. Parzival hasn't actually said anything, it's just... Alright, so stuff has gotten a bit messed up. Hopefully it can be rearranged a bit. Alright, so it's going to be Red Comet next. I'm going to be watching Capricious and Nemor go at each other to close this Swiss portion out. And afterwards it'll be on to the double elimination, but we'll get to that in a minute. Actually, wait, I should have said that after the intro. Oh. Yeah, they had their own room. Shoot, it already started? What the heck? I wanted to cast you. <sighs> Crying out loud. <laughs> 